the Speaker. Jamie Lee Ross. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I, I feel a little sorry for the opposition. I've not seen them this excited since David Cunliffe was delivering his uh, speech on election night when Labour lost the election uh, at the lowest they've been in many, many years. It, the most excited they've been when they're talking in this House and actually wasting taxpayer money by keeping... How many hours was it? 17, 18 hours? They're proud of wasting taxpayer money when only weeks ago they were hammering backbench MPs of the National Party putting up uh, members' bills. Mr Speaker, this side of the House gets excited when we do things like growing the economy. This side of the House gets excited when we do things like lifting real wages. This side of the House gets excited when we deliver more sections for people to build on to deliver more housing for New Zealanders. And, Mr Speaker, that is what this bill is about. I've met the developers that this bill specifically uh, works to ensure that they can continue with the projects that will deliver more housing for Aucklanders. Because, Mr Speaker, more housing for Aucklanders is what we need. It's not 17 hours of the Labour Party and the opposition and the Green Party playing games in the Parliament. What Aucklanders need is actual houses to be built, and, Mr Speaker, that is what this bill is all about. Apparently, it's trendy to talk about the SOPs that were put up during the committee stage, all of the wish list proposals that they would have liked. I would have liked to have seen some SOPs that reflected reality, such as the fact that house prices doubled when Labor was in office. office. That is a reality. They should have put something like that up in an SOP. I would have liked to have seen an SOP around the fact that interest rates were up at about 10 11 per cent when Labor were last in office. Where was the SOP on interest rates and how high they were when they were in office? I would have liked to have seen an SOP about the land strangulation policies that the Labor and Green parties actually supported when they were in office. Those policies which led to unaffordable housing through the strangulation of land and ensuring, under their watch, that supply was not enhanced to enable houses to be built. Mr Speaker, I would have liked to have seen an SOP from the Green Party talking about the fact that they want hundreds of thousands of Aucklanders to go bankrupt when they drop house prices by 50 per cent. And they go quiet when we talk about that because they know under their recent marriage between those two parties that is the reality that they would be facing. Mr Speaker, whatever the question is around housing, the answer is delivering more supply, delivering more sections. That is what we're focused on. Build rates are four times faster in Auckland now than what they were when Labour was in office. We are delivering the effective size of Whangarei to Auckland this term and next term. The unitary plan that this government put in place, the process to see it delivered, is going to lead to 400,000 additional homes being built in Auckland. Mr Speaker, Aucklanders and New Zealanders need more houses. Aucklanders and New Zealanders don't need the opposition wasting 18 hours of taxpayers' time in this parliament. We're delivering solutions. We're not just talking about them. I commend this bill to the House. Members.